this is a show really that that started off as well in my case as um request from James Franklin of Culture Vannon who said would you would you be interested in in writing a play and I was a little taken aback it's not usually what I write and I said well um yes but why have you asked me and he said oh I've overheard you saying to somebody you like writing dialogue and I thought you're going to have to be careful what you say really but anyway I agreed and um because it's a culture of Annan initiative, it needs to have some uh, relation to something that was going on on the island. And, and James suggested it would be a good idea to do something about the traditions of May Eve. Um, and that was, he asked me about six months ago, I think. So anyway, I thought, well, I've never written a play, but I'm willing to have a go. So um, I sat down and <laughs> wrote a play and it really was just sitting down and writing a play. Um, I really enjoyed it. And um challenge of course is uh, May Eve customs on the Isle of Man um, in I decided it would need to be in the mid 19th century mm -hmm. because they were still going if not strong they were going strong enough um, and I decided well things like jumping over fires and <laughs> this sort of thing is not really going to be happening on the stage anyway if you want Shame. to see May Eve customs in uh, in perform big style you go to peel for um john shakespeare's great yeah, big yeah. get to there so it couldn't be like that so what was i going to do well i thought i would do a play of the talking class i seeing there was one going for dialogue um so i imagined um how the things that were going on in the background um of uh, in the mid 19th century for example great fires up here on Douglas Head being lit on May Eve and how it would appear to the people down who were the new the, the nouveau riche or whatever they were who were building houses in Douglas at that point they'd look out and they'd see all these things going on and what would they think was happening so that was a sort of background really and then it, and it grew it grew from there and that was my, my little play and this was I, I saw in the notes as well you said you sort of part of it had been inspired by seeing some old uh photos of some ancestors yes um two things really in in my, in my family um there's um, some relatives who, who who live in a a house of that sort of era and i was it's quite easy to imagine or try and imagine what life would have been in there and indeed um some of my ancestors um one who came over from england at that point um had actually lived in a very similar house and i had a big book of uh, photographs family photographs um from about that time so it, it sort of felt that that was the direction i should i should go in like try and imagine inhabit some of the minds of these people but of course we don't know so and it's completely imaginary of course at the end of the day yes but quite a bit of period flavor i hope so it's called the in between times it, it is the premiere, as you say, of your first play. Yes. Lots of poetry you've done and a huge amount of music over the years, but this is your first play, uh, which is lovely. So this will form, what, the first half of the evening? No, this will be the, 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 the second, second half, half of, of um, an evening of related drama and mm -hmm. music. Rather, um, when I'd found my cast, which I did by looking around for people I've seen on stage in various ways, and I asked them individually and they got to look at the play, and nobody said, oh, no, I can't bear it, but I did give them a chance to run off if they didn't want to. Um, anyway, they were all very keen, which was very nice, and I was thinking, well, what will we shape around this? Because, you know, it's quite a talky sort of play, and you need other things. You need things to look at and things to things to hear. So I called on Kurj and Kujic, as always, to uh, provide some music, um, related music. And, um, of course, I'm always interested in mm. poetry and bits of old rhyme and all sorts of things. So, basically, I, I put pressure on all my, my dear friends, as usual, and they all come up trumps to make a show. And then one of the cast members, Corey Phillips, um, happened to mention that she had actually also written three short, originally radio plays wow. on behalf of Culture Fan, which mm -hmm. hadn't been premiered. And one of them just happened to be about um, Governor Loch and his reforms on the island. Um, Governor Loch was, of course, very much um, a man of this period and the 
she had set her play bang in the middle of the 1860s and it was more like a horrible history style play so it's a sort of spoof short short sort of comedy um and we brought that along and anyway we've all ended up going in that as well so and it fits very well in in, in time and theme and probably a little more historically accurate than some of the things in mine so uh, we're having that in the first half wow. embedding it in music and poems and I don't know what else. Yeah. So it's two premiers for the price of honour. It is get, indeed. Yeah. That's 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 uh, quite something. And that we both simultaneously had written plays set in the same era was totally chance. That's rather fun. And some other names I think people might know. June Brideson's in there. He's always got great on the stage. Uh, Bill Bill Call, of course, will be there. Uh, you are, are you narrating? Did I see you narrating? I'm, I'm narrating in the first half. And I have a, a, a small... Well, I no, I have a role in, in, in Corey's play, yes. And what about, I see, uh, The Lockdown Lovelies? <laughs> ah, yes. Well, The Lockdown Lovelies also, two-thirds of The Lockdown Lovelies, Dublin, Kirch and Kujach, and um, Greg Jochen, who, who is the sort of lead of those, of course, used to sing with us, and we've done many things with Greg over the years. Um, so I asked them, would they do a part with this mm -hmm. and they, they are indeed and of course their speciality is if, 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 if you like the more popular songs from the island um, which they do in, in harmony in quite a very very um, enjoyable way so they'll be they'll be bringing us towards the end of the 19th century in um, musical style that sounds terrific right okay then so this is all taking place uh, Saturday evening that's right Saturday evening yes. Aeron Arts Centre Aeron Arts Centre half oh. past seven half yeah. past seven yeah. Uh, tickets still available, I take it? I think they are, yes, certainly. Yes. So they can get them, can they get them? They can get the, uh, contact the box office, yes, they're very...